One of the most important pieces for your church website is your domain name. What's a domain name? A domain name is essentially the address that your church website lives at. That's where people know to go to to visit your church website. So I'm going to share some helpful tips on how you can pick the perfect domain name for your church website. The first thing that we'll look at is extension choices. A domain extension would be something like .com, .org, .net, and these are more traditional ones, but we've seen a lot of newer ones surface nowadays like .church, .tv, and so there's more that we can choose from. However, I still recommend sticking with a more traditional choice like .com or .org for your church. The reason for this is simply just because they've been used all the way up to this point, and a lot of people are already familiar with that. And that'll be their instinct to type something like that in when they're looking for a church website. So it's fine to still use .church or other ones, but I would use them in addition to a .com or a .org address, not instead. For domains, keep it short, keep it simple, something that's easy for people to remember and doesn't require a ton of typing to get to. Now, for example, let's say you have a church name such as Lighthouse Apostolic Faith Center. So you can use something like lighthouseapostolic.com or lighthouseafc.org. Uh, those would be good examples that you can look into to see if those are available. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing individual letters for each word within your church name as your domain. It depends on the ministry as far as how well that works. I know one ministry in particular that had a very long title for their ministry name. In fact, there were eight words in their ministry name, and for their domain name, they decided to just put the first letter of each word all strung together. Very difficult to remember, so I would stay away from doing something like that. Avoid hyphens. I've seen some churches actually use a domain name that was just their full church name with hyphens in between each word does not look good, people don't instinctively think to put hyphens in a domain name, I would just stay away from using hyphens altogether if you can. Registering a domain name through ShareFaith is a quick and painless process. First of all, log into your ShareFaith Church website. Then go to the settings and go to domain. Select to purchase a new domain and then enter the domain name that you want and it will let you know right away whether or not it's available. Otherwise, it will give you some alternative suggestions to consider. Now, once you have your name or names picked out, it will let you know the prices for each and give you a total. It's important to note that based on the extension that you're looking for, domain name prices can vary widely. Now, follow through the rest of the way to register your domains using the card that you have on file with ShareFaith and we'll take care of the rest. To see what else you can do, be sure to do a free trial of ShareFaith Church websites today. Visit ShareFaith.com to learn more. God bless.